Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading, please be sure to email me. Also, I do have a channel that caters towards other signs, particular to a fucus, earth signs, and collectives. So it's a good time over there. You're going to get some good content just as like you do over here. So be sure to tune in. Uh, please stay till the end of the messages so that you get all of what you need. Okay. Thank you guys so much in advance for being here. Happy holidays, everybody. So the first thing that I picked up here is a routine. I don't know if somebody's getting into a routine or doing something day to day, but there's some form of like, um, like an alignment with what you need to get done or doing how you start your day. That's very important. Somebody here could have had a routine check or stop. Okay, by a patrol officer or something like that. Yeah, somebody could be on their way from leaving the airport or whatever the case may be. Or this is somebody that's a social media influencer. Okay, I do see somebody's influenced by their religious beliefs or whatever the case may be. I feel like I'm, I'm hearing something about like, um, like a tour or something like that here. Okay, somebody could have got into it or there was some form of a screaming match between you and this person. Somebody here could threaten to put somebody in jail or uh, somebody's feeling stuck mentally or feeling like they don't really have much of a choice. Okay, that's what I'm picking up on here. Somebody's name is Shirley, S-H-I-R-L-E-Y, Shirley. Um, let's see what else I'm getting here. Yeah, there's something about like, I heard Congress. I don't know what's going on. This is somebody here that's very wealthy, powerful, um, influential. Okay, somebody here has, I heard Steez. Okay. I'm seeing the sun. So I feel like there's going to there's gonna be some sort of good report that's coming in for you. That's what I'm picking up here. I feel like somebody is going to go viral worldwide. This also could mean that there is a cycle closing out. So somebody's getting close to being released from prison or something that you've been in your mind about could be uh, coming to a close or whatever the case may be here. Okay, so yeah, somebody's uh, coming out of this mental space where they feel blocked. Okay, somebody here could have been holding back from a person that they feel is their divine counterpart. Okay, I feel like somebody here is crying over you or somebody can't sleep. Somebody could have a headache. I feel like they've been holding back for so long that it actually took a toll on somebody's mental health. Okay, or somebody here stayed with a person that they knew, knew they weren't meant to be with. Or that could have been a temptation for them. And it's like it's forcing them to call some form of judgment. All right. That's what I'm also picking up here. I'm going to go ahead and pull one more. And then we're going to get into the read. But I do see here that somebody could be in the midst of traveling or coming back from somewhere. Or somebody is releasing a person to have a new cycle. It's like a new cycle is starting, okay? Or this could be a, um, a group, a group collaboration that's trying to cause an ending. I'm seeing the star card. Somebody here is very envious. Somebody, somebody does not want a person to fulfill their, their, I heard blessings, okay? You are blessing other people that put you in a place to be blessed. All right. You continuously give back or this could be somebody that's feeling unfulfilled. I told you somebody does not want you to prosper. OK, they see your light and they don't want others to see it here. OK, so somebody's trying to come in between you and what you got going on. OK, they see that people want to support you and want to supply you with the things that you need to be able to entertain, to be able to influence, to be able to um, shock people into living their best lives. OK, this is somebody that could be a hater. 
okay, or has hate in their heart for people that strive for greatness. That's what I'm picking up here, okay? Somebody is very much so unhealed from some form of um, um, departure. Somebody is sad to leave a person or sad that they had to make some sort of sacrifice to do that, okay? This could be a family dynamic, yep, but I feel like there's going to be a call of judgment to make an out of um, the ordinary decision, okay? Somebody here is like unawakened, okay? Somebody's coming into some form of communication pertaining to justice, okay? Somebody stole what should have been yours or this could have been a missed opportunity, an inheritance. That's what I'm picking up here, but you will have the last laugh, okay? Let's see here. You could be dealing with an uh, air sign, an Aquarius. Okay, so I told you there's something about a twin flame. Somebody is leaving a cycle between somebody that they could have ha uh, chose over a twin flame here. Okay, you may not be dating at this particular time, but you feel like you're entering a cycle of happiness because you're going after something or somebody is w willing to chase their happiness, which is you. Okay. Somebody's name could start with the letter T, whether you're masculine or feminine. I'm seeing the sword in rose. I told you there's some sort of secret that's coming out about what somebody has been feeling caged to okay look narcissism okay somebody was charmed or being used or somebody allowed a person to enable their destructive patterns okay there is a sudden change that's going to take place so that a person can be freed that's what i'm picking up here i'm gonna go ahead and clarify that sword and rose let's see what's in the last position Okay, in the reverse, we do have the golden mirror. So somebody is no longer or will not indulge in being absorbed or take on narcissistic uh, properties here. I feel like somebody is going to stop talking to a person because of the narcissism that they bring to their life. Somebody here could be heartbroken because a person has found a way out to start this new phase here. Okay. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what is this uh, sword and rose? What is the clarity or truth coming to pass? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, or not the Knight of Wands, there's something about aggravation or somebody being irritant. Okay, there's some sort of bad news that's gonna slow something down. This could be pertaining to an Empress. Somebody's gonna lose momentum of knowing their worth or not feeling like they're enough, or not feeling like they have the means to be the woman that a person wants to be with, okay? Somebody feels like they're drowning here, okay? Somebody could be trying to get their rocks off. It's like somebody here is trying to get their rocks off, but they're shooting blanks. That's what I'm picking up here. It's like somebody's not ready. They're young, but somebody's having uh, issues performing, because I see this, these arrows and it's going in the downright or something's about to go down that's going to cause a delay. Okay. Somebody is intuitively uh, distinctive about this person that they have a connection to or a disconnection. I feel like um, you're going to get some insight from a spiritual practitioner, somebody that's into divination that somebody's using some sort of occultic work to slow you down or not allow you to soar to the levels or expectations that you should be at. Somebody's trying to make sure that all is lost and that you are able to be um, denied of anything great, okay? Because it's supposed to bring celebration. Whatever this is that you were supposed to be really good at or excel in or achieve, it's, it was going to cause a huge celebration for you okay there's a king of pentacles that could be in his head about a particular decision or situation somebody could be hard-headed 
about the, the choice that they made or that they need to make here. This is somebody that you could take a liking to or is a friend to you or that you have the most empathy for. Hmm. But somebody definitely is trying to use some sort of like sexual aura or magic to slow you down. Okay, or, or sleeping with somebody and them not being able to perform. It's like they hold this negative energy or, um, I don't know, I heard startup. All right, I don't know if somebody be getting financially um, secure or getting some sort of startup money, money or this could be a vehicle. Somebody has a push to start vehicle or may want one. That's what I'm picking up here. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the eight of wands to the page of wands. This could also mean that something is going to be delayed for somebody. Somebody's trying to use whatever they can to delay somebody because they're in this Cancerian uh, chariot energy. Yeah, the number seven could be significant because I'm seeing it twice. So somebody's about to come into some sort of luck that a person thought that they could destroy a person's foundation. But with this, this new cycle, it clearly states that there's some sort of like great fortune or luck that's coming in. And 777 talks about luck too, okay? You're going to be lucky in love, lucky in the decisions that you decide to make that will bring you towards other things that you'll be lucky in. Fuck with somebody talking about, okay? We have Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, and the Cancerians that are out here, okay? You're definitely proving somebody wrong or a group of people, okay? You're, you're proving them wrong with your light. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. And somebody wanted to keep you quiet. They wanted to hinder you from speaking your truth to a nation, to people that, that are particular believers. Okay? I heard make me a believer. Okay? Let's see. I'm hearing the name Ethan. Somebody's name could be Ethan. What's the message for Virgo? All right, so we do have the boots and the bull. Okay, there's something about the letter B. All right, so we have bird perched and the bear. At the bottom of the deck, we have hat and torch. Okay, there's something that's going to go very well or you're going to have a lot of insight pertaining to the position or role that you're going to play. Okay, look, in the middle of the deck, you're, prote you're protected from somebody that's going to disappoint you or already has. This person could be an older individual or a younger, a younger woman. All right. But you are definitely protected from, from something or somebody. With this boot, the bull, the bird perched, and the bear, I am seeing that because of the increase in your efforts, this is how you will be able to have or gain knowledge about the role that you play, okay? You are going to play a very important role. And I think that's part of the reason why people are hating on you so much and want to see you do bad or even delay you from progressing, okay? But you're already doing that. Do not back down from opposition. Be the bull. Be in this bull energy. Do not allow people to deter you from what you got going on. Somebody is also trying to use sexual energy because they feel like this is your weakness or they can get you to a weak space where they can mess with what you got going on here. Okay, we have the bird perch. So you could be waiting for news package or a letter, but there's something about your money that's going to interrupt this that you're trying to receive. Okay, remember I said something about... um an application or something like that, right? Or you could be um, trying to gain resources that you can use. Somebody here, right, is trying to mess with, with all of these things here. And you may not have told this person something, but this is someone that's heavily 
monitoring you or allowing other people to do this for them indirectly. But you're picking up on this. You're so like in tune with your spirituality and what's going on. It's crazy. Okay. I feel like you're also using your spiritual team to um, make a lot of people mad. Okay. Because people are on your back. They want to know so much, so much, so bad that they're trying to cut you off from any sort of opportunity. They're trying to peel back your layers to figure out like how you do what you do. It's your calling judgment. Okay. Don't allow this person to ruin the, the progress that you've made or what you're about to do. Okay. Somebody here could be listening to gospel music because I just heard Holy Spirit, or I feel like the Holy Ghost is putting a, a, an anointing on a person that's supposed to be in your life. Okay. There's something about a soulmate or a twin flame connection. Okay. Or you are being, um, directed towards somebody that needs healing okay i heard representation you are a representation of the divine masculine or feminine okay the tower and the nine of cups it's like you are doing all that you can to fix something that may that you may either need to know or that that is coming in i feel like something needed to be brought down to the wire in order for something to be built back up to, to regain a, a better structure. Okay. Somebody here could have a child that's, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing like somebody here could have a child that's disabled. Okay. Or somebody has like a dysfunctional way of communicating. Somebody feels like they don't really have much of support because they can't relate Somebody don't have kids that have these ailments here. That's what I'm picking up. So somebody here could be stressed about their personal situation or what cards they were dealt. Just know that you're not alone. Okay. That's what forums are for. That's what family and supports that are um, put in place for certain people with, with different um, issues, right? We all need help in different ways, but we're all here to help each other one way or another. All right. Let's see here. What's the message? Okay. Somebody here needs to call their power back. I feel like for some of you, you're doing this right now. You're not allowing somebody to have control over you through them using your power for you to become weak. Okay. Look, like I said, somebody here could have been pulled over. I did hear routine stop or check or routine. Okay. Or somebody here could be trying to have a conversation with you to pull you off of your path or to try to abduct or take something. Somebody has a personal vendetta against you, or this could be a, a coven of people. Okay. There, there are investigators that are watching you or watching them external to you. Somebody's trying to, um, figure out if you have your shit together. Okay. But you are the brains behind every single operation that you are attached to. Your love has no limits here. Okay. Somebody here could have had a son that committed suicide. Okay. This person could be a Leo or is suicidal. If they haven't committed suicide, somebody has bad aura or hygiene. Somebody needs to take care of their hygiene. Somebody here is definitely missing their children and wanting to do everything that it is in their power to get them back. Okay. But you have people that are targeting you because you are a, you are a threat. You are this much closer to completing something that's going to lead to celebration. Okay. So I'm hearing something about spiritual insights about a dirty offer. Somebody wants you to accept a dirty offer so that they can bring you through trauma. Okay. Somebody hates the fact that you're winning, that you don't need them. Okay. Somebody here needs to go to the doctors and get an STD check. Someone's, somebody's trying to get you to uh, come in with this dirty offer so that they can give you an STD. 
so that they can put you through a traumatic situation. Okay. Can I get one more for Virgo? Look, I told you a lot of cock blocking on your, on your top. Okay, somebody feels like you could be caught blocking them from having this third party situation and having you on the side. This is somebody that wants you to inhibit a lot of bad habits and always going out. Okay, somebody wants to introduce you to a life of um, just being out there. Look, child services. Somebody here wants your children to be taken or feels like you, you're not a good parent, whether you're a masculine or feminine. I heard broad, somebody's like referring to a person as a broad. There's a feminine energy that may need to get a checkup, okay? If you're celibate and you haven't, you know, slept with anybody, still get yourself checked out, okay? Somebody here wants you to open up because you're very used to uh, moving in silence. You got somebody in your energy that's very nosy and using divination for you to be attached to bad habits here. I can't make this up. Somebody's trying to challenge your um, your mental state. Somebody feels like your, your mental state is not where it's supposed to be or this could be somebody else here. Okay, somebody wants to believe that their ex has changed, but they're fooling themselves. Toxic twin flame journey masquerading as true love. So I feel like there's somebody here in the collective at this time that has internet trolls that are the person that wants to come back into your life. The same person that's trolling you is the person that wants to make their way back into your life as a significant other. Okay, they will act on their threats. It's just a matter of time. This person will do anything and everything to bring themselves down to have what they want. They're making ultimate sacrifices that are not allowing them to be their highest self. Okay, you're making paper in your sleep and they lose control knowing this. Look, I can't make this up. I shuffle and it comes out. It's time to party and celebrate. You're about to celebrate something big. You're about to win and win big here. Okay. Let's see. Message to Virgo. Look, we have success. I know that there is no greater love or greater goal than success. You are so on point. Okay, this message is so on point. I feel like because of the self-esteem and where your head is at right now, that's what's leading you to some sort of success. And somebody does not want you to get away to have freedom. Somebody wants to keep you locked into all this toxicity, the toxicity and negativity, but all you're doing is rising above it. Okay. Somebody's in denial about your level of, of greatness, your abundance, but it, it speaks for itself. Okay. When you're just as dedicated to being the person that you were meant to be and the calling that you have on your life, nobody can tell you shit. Okay. Somebody here, right? I feel like there's somebody that, that is imagining like y'all are together in their head. Y'all are together here or somebody's trying to claim you. Okay. That's my girl. That's my guy. Like, you know, somebody's in their head about you or thinks that y'all are already together. Somebody's speaking something into existence. Somebody could want to have closeness, a relationship, um, a companion like you. Okay. If they can't have you but they envision themselves with you. Yup, honesty here. Message. Message for Virgo. Okay, so somebody here could be ungrateful. I'm hearing you're agreeing to disagree that somebody here acted like you didn't put them in a position or um, you're not trying to better their situation by helping them. Somebody feels like you're trying to make them look like they're less than you by saying that you're helping them or you're throwing something in their face or vice versa. All right. I'm hearing that somebody does not want to be with a person romantically. 
in a relationship and whoever this feminine that's trying to cause drama and is extra thirsty may have to back down from talking to you or else you're going to go ham on this person. Okay. There's a feminine energy that's very thirsty for a person to love them. And that person don't even, even love them. They're just making it worse for themselves. Like, do you think somebody's going to love you when you acting like that? Baby girl, take it from me. When you hang back and you allow somebody to miss you and contemplate on whether they made a, a, a good or bad choice, that's when you know it's real. You don't have to do too much. You just say less and allow this person to be eating out the palm of your hands. That's just period here. Somebody here, right? Their current status is single. There's a masculine that's single. Tell me more about this single man. I heard your light shines on somebody. There's something about your aura. You have a magical aura that allows people to give in their energy, even if they're not that type of person or these people do this for you. I feel like you inspire the people that have a lack of motivation. This is what you do. This is it's like you get people together. OK, but it's like you can't do this all of the time because this could set you up for you being um, imbalanced or um, not grounded here. OK, I'm not saying you can't help people, but sometimes when you help the wrong people that are like really, really deep down in the slums with the four cups energy, it's like you, you kind of slack off. It kind of makes your, your life, ten of cups in reverse, get um, unstable and causes uh, cycles to close out. OK, so learn to pull back from certain people that you can't help. Because they're going to go back to the same thing or end up being so attached to you that they, you can't do what you need to do. Okay? Somebody is in this very sexual energy. Okay? Somebody here feels like they're in love with you, but they may not be. Somebody's just feeling the pressure or going through a lot and needing your company. That's what I'm picking up here. Let's see what spirit wants to tell you. What is it that you need to know? I heard eon years ago. Something may have happened a long, long, long time ago. Okay, that's maybe remembered. Spirit is telling you to ask your angels. And you will seek out abundance and improving your health. There's going to be an abundance in how you allow your, your life to get better, your health, just all around, okay? In the near future, something is likely to take place. And this might not be the right time for it, but it will be in the near future. I heard disregard. Somebody is being disregarded or something pertaining to a situation is being disregarded. Somebody's trying to like have you disregarded or maybe you're disregarding somebody for the credits that they may have to getting something somewhere. Okay. Somebody's acting like they were the brains behind the operation and that you should share whatever it is that you got from a collaborative um, perspective, okay? But somebody here is lying. Somebody's lying about something, okay? Somebody's lying about how happy they are, even if that means they are successful. I told you there's something about um, partnerships, collaborations, okay? Or how you pair up with somebody that you could potentially be dating, okay? Let's get more on this deception and envy here. What is this deception and envy? Okay, so somebody's lying to a person about like how successful that they are. 
Somebody's acting like they're somebody's faking it until they make it, but they have already made it. Somebody is projecting their energy onto you because they're butt hurt about how you've improved or allowed something to work out for you because you are the star. You've been the star this whole time. And somebody's trying to downplay, you know, the things that you've been able to accomplish or are coming into accomplishing. Okay. Because somebody's stuck. Somebody feels like just because they're stuck, they can try to make you stuck by, um, helping you lose followers or, um, trying to talk mess in the comment section. Like a lot of you motherfuckers is miserable. Okay. And if you would follow the leader in this situation to somebody that is successful and that could put you on, you would win. But instead you want to go against somebody like Virgo. Somebody is just a hater. That's crazy. They hate that they have to love you. They could have been a part of your tribe and you could have did them really good. You could have did your door deals and made sure that they went too, but they wanted to go against you. I told you. But you still have love for all your enemies because either way you have enemies and people that support you. They still watching at the end of the day. Right. They're still coming along for the journey. Even though they want to play like they, they don't really give. You know what? OK. Let's see here. Let's tap into the love dynamic. We have disguise, life partner, love language, physical touch, and twin flame. At the bottom of the deck, we do have material attachments. So somebody here is in a relationship to secure the bag or for stability from a significant other. Okay, some elements of this relationship are hidden. But somebody believes that this person could be a potential life partner. And I think that y'all connect best through the love language of physical touch. Okay. This is somebody that could be a potential um, twin flame and or life partner or both. So this could be um, a possibility of two different individuals in your life. You have a life partner that may be disguising something that they don't want you to know. And also a twin flame that you have this undeniable physical connection to, but you're going to have to make a choice. Okay. Somebody's going to have to make a choice between two different individuals. Now I'm going to see why disguise is here for this life partner. What is the disguise? Somebody here, right? I'm getting it two ways. Somebody here could be masking who it is outside of the relationship that they're sleeping with or not being honest about why they're not giving into sleeping with you. But I think that somebody here is, is holding themselves back from this because they're not really sure if they can dull, indulge in um, having anything serious or um, contributing to a relationship on a serious level pertaining to living arrangements or whatever the case may be. Can we clarify the Queen of Swords and... The sacral in reverse. I feel like there's going to have to be some sort of open and honest communication. I feel like somebody's um, trying to bring resolution to a situation because ultimately they do want something that is long term. I think that somebody's coming into making this uh, something permanent. OK, but it might take a person a longer time or room to mature. Somebody here could be a Scorpio, a Scorpio, or a Cusper, Virgo, Libra, Cusper. Okay. Let's see, who is this person that you have a twin flame connection with that you might have a undeniable connection for? Okay, so your heart's definitely open to this person. 
or this person's heart is open to you. But something has stagnated or stifled this connection pertaining to the two of you. I feel like somebody wants to bring some sort of change to be able to come into this domain with you. Okay, I do see a lot of enjoyment, stability, and feeling like they belong. Somebody wants to get rid of all the blockages or anything that could be interfering in this relationship. I heard something about a thief. So somebody could be trying to steal time, effort, um, love, whatever this is, prosperity, whatever, ideas. Yep, the king of pentacles. Okay, somebody here might have been materialistic that felt like they could take, get something from you or you from them. This is somebody that's obsessed with wealth and status. So being next to you could give somebody the exposure that they need. Okay. And I feel like they're torn. So they tear apart this relationship that could have put a damper between you and this person connecting. That's what I'm picking up here. What's the message? Okay, so there's something that's delayed or somebody may need help in order to do something. Didn't I say this? Somebody's trying to hold you back from something. I heard a thief. Didn't I say it? Somebody here is trying to hold you back from something they're trying to take from you. Okay, that you deserve. They didn't consult with this feminine, whoever this person is. But there's an important revelation pertaining to how somebody made sure that you wouldn't be successful. But it's going to happen anyway. Because one thing that somebody can not take away from you is your character. So that's all it is. And a lot of people that support you and fuck with you, they're going to know that somebody's trying to tamper with your, your life here. Okay. Beware of anybody that's giving you compliments until they show their hand or try to um, help you in some sort of way. Deem them as somebody that you need to watch out for. I know not everybody is like that, but the important revelation is that somebody here either wants to see you feel or has information about you not having some sort of placement in something. Okay. Somebody's holding on to information so that you'll miss out on an opportunity. That's what I feel it is. Okay, somebody wants you to pull it, put the towel in. That's what I'm picking up here when it comes to whatever this is that you have a passion for. Okay. Somebody is pulling back on some sort of like jealousy because this masculine or this feminine is is feeling it this masculine or feminine that they're dealing with they know that there's some level of competition and they're unapologetic about it okay okay so i feel like somebody's getting comforted or trying to work around this deception or something coming out this lie that's being told okay i feel like somebody is not ready or willing to give in to reconcile or won't be taking a agreement from a person from the past okay what is this lies or deception There were multiple people that knew about some sort of lie that they went with and didn't really come out with it until they got caught. What is this about deception and saltitude in reverse? Okay. Somebody accepted the bare minimum and created a lot of bad reputation because of it. That's what I'm picking up here. Okay. For this false twin flame in reverse... The secret admirer and the runner. You know what I think is going on here? Somebody that is supposed to be your false twin flame tried to switch destinies with your real twin so that they would look like the real twin, but hiding the fact that 
this person that could potentially be a Pisces is someone that you could have meshed with because this is somebody that is spiritually developing, um, willing to make certain sacrifices for a higher cause. Somebody did not want you to be with somebody that was very spiritual, spiritual and or insightful. Okay. The number 12 could be significant. What is this reconciliation and commitment? Okay, so it looks like somebody still loves you, but it's like when it comes to communication or um, conversation, it's like you need consistency in order for you to indulge, okay? I feel like you're trying to gain spiritual wisdom to properly handle the situation or to be able to work as a team to move forward, but you do need some honesty. You feel like somebody needs to give you this here, that's the only way that you can strengthen this connection. But if this person is going to decide to bring arrogance, being rude, not being um, appreciative of the time that you're taking out to try to make this work, it's like somebody is still stuck in not being just not appropriating what they're supposed to. OK, that's what I'm picking up here. message for Virgo. Okay. So there's a lot of balance amongst you. You're doing really well. Things are going great. Okay. You're coming into a lot of balance after emotional turmoil that could have gone on, but I feel like you're being intuitive in order for you to have growth and, you know, having this higher vibrative energy. Okay. I feel like you lose faith when you don't know what you're you're going to expect. Yeah, there's something about having no idea about this approval. You're getting some sort of approval that you didn't expect here. Okay. In some area of your life, I do see success. Okay, I feel like this has something to do with your career love or some sort of new beginning yeah it's gonna bring a lot of peace is what i'm seeing here let's see what else it is that virgo needs to know okay so you're no longer going to be in poverty somebody here could be 37 years old somebody's name is alfred or fred freddy I do see here that there are a lot of people that don't like that you are coming out of poverty, okay, because they're still in it. What's wrong with asking for help? That's my thing here, okay? There's something about changes happening for you and not allowing somebody that you are expecting to come back into the picture because you honor them to mess with your progress, okay? Because somebody's not good for you. Somebody is not good for you and you keep making the same mistakes or choices surrounding this person and it and it's messing with your ability to be abundant. Okay. You have some sort of project that you're working on. Somebody here doesn't really like the fact that you're a part of something here. They want you to be kind of banned from this. Okay. Somebody's trying to cause some sort of like... I don't know. I heard intervention. Somebody's trying to intervene with something so that you won't be able to uh, work on this project, whether this is collaborative or um, you focusing on a project on your own. Okay. Let's see here. What's the message? What is it that we need to know? I heard Constance. Is that somebody's name? Constance. We have pillow talk. Somebody's talking about a feminine here. Okay. Somebody could be discussing the time apart that they've had from you if you're a feminine energy and you not wanting to give up because you can't really give anybody a commitment because you're committed to this person. Okay. Very soon somebody will have to make up their mind 
okay? Or is somebody's playing the role of having multiple people? Somebody's only dealing with the person because they um, they love sleeping with them, okay? But it's nothing compared to the person that you are, Virgo, whether you're masculine and or feminine. This person is going to reach out for sure. What's the message here? What do we need to know? I heard correct me if I'm wrong. So this is a conversation or this could be a prayer here. Somebody here may be reiterating a prayer or um, wanting to be, wanting to take measures so that they won't actually, you know what? Somebody here feels like whatever their wishes surrounding a, a home or having some form of stability or somewhere to live hasn't worked out. Somebody is trying to find a, a place to live at, okay? But I feel like there's some sort of paperwork that some, somebody needs or there's something about, um, I don't know, evictions or something like that. Somebody could have promised to put their half or maybe you have somebody that you would like to go half and half with but it's like the paperwork that's being given is not enough that's what I'm picking up here okay or somebody needs additional somebody is promising you something but it's like you haven't received it all somebody is doing is turning up and having a good time and not valuing family or not spending enough time with family here Somebody is doing solely something on their own to gain something back after losing it. Or, um, yeah, this has something to do with something that a person took. Somebody's offering help, even if that means you, you don't need it. The numbers 36, 47, 70, 19. And 54 could be significant. Somebody's trying to set a trap for you or you're trying to, yeah, somebody's trying to make you sick. Okay. Somebody said in sort of, some sort of illness that um, could be the flu, a common cold or whatever this is. Somebody wants you to be under the weather. This has been going on for a whole month now, like three, four weeks. Okay. Somebody thinks that if your immune system is low, you won't be able to fight off you know, these spiritual attacks or physical attacks that you're under, that they're trying to put you under, okay? There's something about immunity, okay? I told you, some sort of spiritual attack for you not to persevere, but you will anyway. <laughs> Look, on the bottom of the deck, perseverance. message what's the message okay so somebody may need to repair a window in a home a vehicle an office space wherever this is okay somebody here may think that a person has money to waste to keep repairing things yep the authorities sat back and watched this happen mm -hmm. somebody's battling a lot of demons and has anger issues and takes it out on your things or you may be doing this to your own property look somebody here could be kidnapped or abducted or somebody is wow somebody here is trying to take a person's uh sexual energy okay somebody's trying to take something from a person okay look i told you somebody is trying to make sure that you will be i don't know it's like somebody's trying to take your energy here I'm hearing that song by Carrie Hilson, Energy. Somebody's trying to take your love. Take take your love in. Yep. The one thing that's not shot. Ooh. There's something about uh like a blood sacrifice or ritual or some sort of blood test. Somebody here wants you to bleed on them. What? 
through sexual intercourse or somebody could be sleeping with a person on their on their cycle what is this or you could be uh sleeping with somebody and your and your cycle comes down whatever this is here yep somebody's going to have a one night stand or some form of casual sex with a person that used a fake account to even talk to you this is somebody that's going to be anonymous they're remaining anonymous because their intent was to infect you while sleeping with you one time look pay attention to your gut feeling look sexually fluid there's something about fluids and blood being mixed and wanting this to be a look spiritual warfare you need to cut the cord from somebody this is crazy somebody here could be a sexual predator for children okay somebody that's secretly keeping tabs on you was the person that told this individual to do this this is crazy i don't even want to read anymore anyway virgo that's what i have here for your current messages hopefully it resonates if it does be sure to like comment and subscribe also if you're interested in your own personal love reading be sure to email me and as always stay blessed and i'll see you guys in the next one